Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 16th of 2024 is titled Cometary Globules. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what are called cometary globules. Now, they may look vaguely like a comet with a head and then tail stretching back. However, they are actually completely unrelated to comets. Comets are objects within our own own solar system and they are balls of ice and dust and other uh, types of materials that orbit around the sun. A cometary globule on the other hand is a large structure in space. Now it has the appearance of a comet just because of the way it forms. And in this case the dense upper head of the of the cometary globule is containing a star that is in the process of formation. So there's more material there and that makes them a little bit denser and a little bit harder to sweep away. So as energy from stars and in this case even a supernova that occurred that pushes away and eats away at that material the denser portions are the ones that will remain the longest. So the stars are trying to form in those before the energy actually eats away at them too much and there's no longer enough material to form stars. So this is a common process in star formation. The uh, cometary globules will point in the direction of the stars that have already formed. And as I said, in this case, they're also streaming away from what is known as the Vela supernova remnant, which also may be pushing back some of that material as these uh, globules form. Now again, within that central globule, we're forming what we call a protostar. So at the very head of these would be a star or a group of stars forming. And as they break out, they will then eat away at the remaining material. Now we can see this uh, most in the upper left globule, where we can almost begin to see jets of material coming out kind of diagonally from lower left to upper right. Now this is a sign that a star is forming there. These jets are associated with young stars just as they are beginning their lives, just as they are finished their for, finishing their formation, igniting and becoming full-fledged stars. So even something like our own sun could have gone through a stage like this at some point in the distant past. Now eventually as those stars form they will eat away at the globules and the rest of the material will fade away off into space. And they will be left with a new cluster of stars. Stars that have now formed there will be left behind and the globules itself will be completely gone. However, that will take a long time that can take hundreds of thousands and millions of years to finally work through that whole formation stage. So for the time being, if we look at this today or look at it a 100 or even a 1000 years from now, it's pretty much going to look the same as we see in our picture today. So that was our picture of the day for July 16th of 2024. It was titled Cometary Globules. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Volcanic Sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.